If you've been struggling with sculpting in Blender, I know it's hard, but today I'm going to walk you through the basics of it. Let's get right into it. If you want to see my clicking, check the bottom right. So I'm going to select my module and I'm going to go control tab and go to sculpt mode. So you get greeted by this when you first open everything. So on the left, you have a bunch of brushes like this. You have your model in the middle and you can see like when you're hovering over it, you have this little blue line. And on the right, you have this little wrench and screwdriver. You can see you have your brush and all the settings and you have like similar settings at the top. The basics of it is I'm going to firstly, this brush that we already have. You can see if I just start drawing on my mesh, hold left click and drag down. See, I can start adding some volume to my mesh. So you have a bunch of different brushes on the left. You can drag this out if you want to see like their names like that. Read them if you want, or you can go shift and space and it'll pop up with this huge line where you can see the hotkey that you need to press. So like this one is shift uh, you two. So you just press shift space and press two. It'll take you to the brush like shift space far and it'll take you to fill shift space and six and it'll take you to scrape so kind of like that so you can learn the hotkeys uh, if you want when you start getting used to all of this so it's not completely intimidating because you can just click the button on the left but you can also start learning the hotkeys as you get better uh so let's just kind of go through a couple brushes i do have a video on all the sculpting brushes explained if you want to check that out after this but yeah so let me just use my like most used ones like clay strips so i already kind of explained that to you uh you can see all these settings on the right so basically the, the only ones we really Really need when you first start out is obviously like if you just start drawing it will start adding some volume to it if you hold control it will start removing so if i hold control you can see it starts removing like that you can also change the the default for that brush uh, up here so if i click minus it will automatically remove if i click plus it will automatically add then you can see we have strength and radius so strength uh if i just go like here you can see you fill strength and if i go shift and f shift f you can see i have this whole thing where i can change the strength of it now you can see it's all strong uh okay and you can also drag them over here and if you have a pen tablet, then you can click on these little icons and that will do like pressure sensitivity for them. So you can see like my size, uh, it will change if I have these on and so will my strength. And then F is for the size, just like this. So I can change the size like this. So F for size and shift and F for strength. Or you can just use them at the top up here. Let's go use a different one, like grab. So I can just F change size and then just drag and pull out some of my mesh. Then let's kind of go into the remesh options inside of Blender. So what remesh is, is basically if I go click up here on the top right, you see we have voxel size. Um, voxel size, we don't really need adaptivity and we can click remesh. So basically all this does is if I go, you can also have hotkeys for this, but I'll kind of just show you here. You can change the size of it like this. You just drag from left to right and just click remesh. So you can see by default, it just has this kind of thing. So if I go to edit mode, you can see it kind of just adds like a square grid to how it adds the detail. So it's not full of a bunch of triangles. It's just all quads. It's not good topology, but it's all quads. So this is the prefer preferred method of doing this. Um, you can use other ways, but I prefer this. You can also do the hotkeys, which is shift and R, which pops up this little grid. You can kind of see how big that grid is that will add to your mesh. And then you can just go control and R to apply it. So if you like kind of start like moving around your mesh, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can see like some parts of this is really squished and some parts are really like stretched so what i can do is just press ctrl r and i'll reset the like scale uh, like redoes it so it kind of just fix everything so as you're sculpting you can just carry on adding some more use ctrl r as you go just to kind of like fix any stretching or if you need some more like detail in a specific area you also have dynamic topology which is the other method of doing it uh, this was like an older method uh, but you can still use it if i click on this little box uh, now dynamic topology is on and if I go to edit mode, you can see now everything is a triangle. They've added a triangle to everything. And I've go back to sculpt mode and go to like, let's say clay brush. And I'll start drawing, maybe shift F, make it stronger. Wait, I'm on clay here. Um, so like this, so we start going. Um, and then if I go like zoom in, you can see it will go and add more detail. But if I zoom out, it will add less detail like this. So you can kind of choose the amount. If you change over here, maybe make it like eight pixels. And now it's a different level of detail in here. And then even more 
when you zoom in you can kind of see how like it's patchy um so this is kind of useful if you want to be like if you're working on specific things you're like oh the rest of it oh it can be like this level of detail but if i need this specific area to have more detail that's when this is useful um so you can just be like oh i need like a specific just oh the extra detail in here oh but here uh, this is just like flat so i don't need extra detail also if you want to smooth something while well, you don't have to switch to the smooth rush like right here, uh you can just hold shift while doing it so just hold hold shift and then just like that so just start smoothing if you, if you see if i press shift and start going it changes on the left side so you can just hold shift as you go you don't have to switch back and forth between like the brushes uh, that's pretty useful while you're working then you have a bunch of like extra settings that you don't really need but could be useful like you can change the fall off of your brushes so if i do it here uh you can see like this choose what about smooth actually fun so if i go just add like some random details so if i go smooth you can kind of see it's just like a smooth offset but you can also change it to be like constant and then you can see it's just uh just like specific area that's done you can see it has like some harsh edges so you can kind of change the the offset of all your brushes if it's not working kind of how you want so you can see like here uh, if i go clay strips you can see it's the fall off of it if i go like linear kind of just works slightly different to this um and then that so you can change the fall off you can just add some stroke stabilization you just go like stroke and then stabilize stroke if i go like here you can see now i have if i go here you can see i have this line behind it like this this little red line and now my line is a bit small smoother if you have that little like jitter in your hand or if you're on a mouse, it can be very painful to do it. So save last stroke can sometimes help. And then you also just have a combination of all the different brushes that you can use. Some of them are more useful than others, but let's just kind of go over like the, the most simple ones. So my, I've already told you, clay strips, very useful. Uh, draw sharp is also very useful uh, if you need it on like some special occasions. So you can see it just adds like a little sharp indent into your model. I like this brush. Um, then we get like blob. If you just need to go quickly like like a blob to your model kind of explanatory again uh then we have like um a scrape very useful brush i always use it uh you can see it kind of just like scrapes to kind of like flatten it out just starts removing some volume from your mesh so as you do you can just see we just start removing like this then we have grab which uh we've already also explained but you can just start grabbing your model and moving around or if you have a bigger size, you can just kind of like move like a whole bunch of it. Also very useful. Also, if we're working with like a character or something, the pose brush is also very useful. If you have like a, an arm or leg or something, having the pose brush to be able to just like rotate around, very useful. And the last one, mask, which is basically you can press M and you can go to mask. Uh, and then I'll just start drawing and it just starts adding like this black to it. And what this does is basically says, you can't sculpt right here so if i go to another brush let's say clay strips over here and i just start going let's turn off stroke stabilize stroke who goes uh like this you can see if i start going it starts building up here and here but it doesn't do it in the middle that's because the mask saying no you can't um and then if i go like uh control m uh no that's not it that's hard that's hard in it control r it will invert that mask so now you can only affect in here and not anywhere else so you can just invert them as you go so if you have like one specific area that you don't want to change while you change the rest of it you can do that and then control r work on that specific area while you don't change anything else very useful if you want to get rid of it alt and m as i said before go check out the video link the description of all the brushes when you're done Okay, cool. This is what my character looks right now. And this is without having a matte cap on. So in the top right, just click on this little triangle and go to here. And you can see we can go click on matte caps. And there's a bunch of them. I have more that I've installed. I'll leave a link in the description to this pack if I can find it. Um, but I just have, I believe it's this one right here. Um, and then you can kind of see like the default ones will be like these. And it just looks slightly nicer and can help you kind of see like all the cracks and stuff in your model. Uh, if you want to find some, just look for like, uh, what's it, free madcaps online or look up a tutorial on how to make your own. Um, so why don't we just sculpt something simple? Let's say, I don't know, let's say like an ear. Cool. So let's just, oh, my keyboard's bugging. Um, let's just go here. So like scale, get kind of like a random shape. Uh, maybe let's add a simple vision there and there. Blah. 
cool. So now we have the shape. And just kind of work on it to make it look more like an ear, not like a rounded square. Um, so yeah, so shape ear, shape of an ear is kind of just like rounded. So let's just pull this up. So G to go to the grab brush and start rounding this out to make it look a little eerie. <laughs> um, and then pull this in like that. Cool, that's a pretty decent ear shape. Uh, we just need something simple just to start out with. And if you want, you can also remesh this now. So I'm just gonna go Shift and R, and then I'm gonna get like rough size, just Control R. There we go. Now I'm gonna go to the crease brush. To the keys, the the keyband for the crease brush is Shift and C, uh, and then you can see we can just go add like a, a line there. Stroke, turn off stabilize stroke again, because uh, I don't need it right now. You can see I can just start removing, or well, I can just like crease it there. Like that you can also like go to let's say clay strips you can just go shift and space and press two uh, and i'm going to hold control actually i'm going to change it back to a plus and go clay strips and then start removing get rid of it over here and then maybe pull it back up because that's kind of how ears work you can see so ears are kind of just generally like a, like a question mark so you have it like go around uh, and then you have the kind of like wa so you go there and there and then you also, so also comes in like that and then you have like a hole over here so play strips let's go start removing over here start digging in maybe the inflate brush will work so just hold control as you use it just digs in further like this cool and then we can like g for grab brush let's pull this forward kind of like that little covering kind of thing um and then work with the crease brush to kind of change this more so there and then we just control r to remesh again and then kind of just add a bit more there move from this little section over here you can see if you kind of just start using all the brushes it's not too complicated it's just you have to kind of just work with the shape and work until it looks nice compared to like not looking nice <laughs> Um, yeah, so you kind of just, you don't need to learn the basic so uh, brushes. You don't need to learn all of them. You can learn all of them, like eventually start learning all of them. But I mean, in preparation for this video, I had to learn some brushes that I don't know about and I've never used and I've sculpted a lot. So yeah, you don't need to learn all the brushes. Just learn some of the basic ones and you'll get to make something pretty nice. You just got to work on your skills at sculpting. Don't worry about the, the tools, worry about the skills you have. And there we go, we got a semi-decent looking ear. If you want more detail, we can just shift R and make it a bit more. Just like smooth it out slightly. There we go. And kind of just work on a bit more. Um, but yeah, so you kind of just start adding more detail as you go. When you get a decent shape there, just make my smooth bit soft, that doesn't as hard. Um, and then clay strips, build this up there. And then inflate there. Maybe add a bit more here. And usually they're kind of like a thing on the back, like that. Um, but yeah, cool. And there we go. We have a pretty decent, look okay, at that messed up. Uh, basically, like if you start painting on the side, you can kind of mess it up the side. Um, but yeah, cool. Cheers. That was how to sculpt Blender. If you enjoyed this video, click right here to see a video on every sculpting brush in Blender.